Hi, my name is Nate Baglios. I'm the director of marketing for Cali Audio. This is Frequently Asked Questions Friday, and today we're going to be talking about frequency response. This video is sponsored by the Cali Audio LP6. So the question that we get a lot of the time is, why do you publish a frequency response figure that is minus 10 dB? There's two figures that we publish. We publish frequency range, which is our plus or minus 3 dB figure, and then frequency response, which is the minus 10 dB figure. So frequency range at plus or minus 3 dB basically means that from this frequency to this frequency, all of the frequencies that the loudspeaker reproduces are roughly equal in loudness. So whether that's the low end, the mid range, the high frequency, everything is more or less even. Plus or minus 3 dB is generally agreed to be a good figure for that. The minus 10, which we call frequency response, basically tells you what the usable limit of the loudspeaker is. And this is useful because it tells you if you're gonna be able to actually hear the sound that the speaker is making at that frequency. So the LP6, as an example, has a minus 10 figure of 39 hertz. Below that figure, the frequency response drops off pretty drastically. And so, for example, if you plug 30 hertz into the LP6, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to respond. And that's why we use that language frequency response versus frequency range. The other reason this is important is if you're configuring a system, you need to know that your system is going to meet whatever standard you're configuring it to. So, for example, if you're setting up a Dolby Atmos system, the Dolby Atmos spec calls out that your full range speakers in the room need to be able to do 40 hertz at minus 7 dB. So if your speaker can do 39 hertz at minus 10 dB anechoically, you can pretty much assume that it's going to be able to do that 40 hertz at minus 7 dB in a room. And it gives you the information you need to know that this speaker, the LP6 for example, will work as a full range speaker for Dolby Atmos. Now, some manufacturers use a minus 6 dB figure, and that's perfectly okay. Some manufacturers use other figures. We use minus 10 because it's kind of the industry standard, and it allows you to compare our speakers versus competitive speakers or versus other speakers speakers in our lineup, apples to apples. So again, when you're looking at our loudspeakers figures, if you're looking at frequency range, that's the plus or minus 3 dB figure, and that figure is normally a little bit more narrow. When you're looking at frequency response, that's the minus 10 dB figure, that figure is going to be wider, and once you put that speaker into a room, that speaker is going to behave even better than the anechoic response that we publish at minus 10 dB. We hope this is helpful. If you have other comments or questions, leave those in the comment section below, and we'll answer those when we can. Thank you.